All right, y'all, we out here on the boat, vibing. We're on our way to an iguana removal job that you can only get to by boat, guys. So we got this handy dandy swamp buggy. We getting through these rivers, y'all, and we figured we might as well try some bass fishing while we're headed to the job, you know? Thanks. Big facts, big facts. A lot of iguanas out there, uh, the water is one of the ways they get to and from places, and it's also one of the ways we do as well. So. Uh, we're gonna see you guys at the job right now we're traveling keeping our eyes peeled we're doing a little fishing on the way so we'll let you guys know if we see anything cool but if not we will definitely see you at the job so see you there all right y'all i think we're on oh got him in the back whoa oh. <laughs> look at that y'all he, he was oh my gosh he hit it right on the bottom y'all just like i was saying before guys the sun is out it's, it's like almost 100 degrees with 110 degrees heat index out here. So these bass are all the way on the bottom. I let this worm sink all the way down. He picked it up and I secured him in the back. We'll see you guys over at the guano removal job. A game of cat and mouse right here. Never know if you're gonna get him in the bag. Dude, if he's just gonna walk up and just snare that thing, dude, let me retire my gun right now. Oh! You guys see where I get my ninja skills from? <laughs> right here, right there. Got him. With the good old reliable catch pole. Got a trapper helm on an iguana. Man, these iguanas must be out here getting fed because they're not even putting up a fight. Super easy, in the bag. We got Ninja on the way. Skilled at what he does. Running over here for to catch some iguanas. He's on a big one over there. He's on a big one over there. You, you got three right here. Yes, sir. We we eat them. A thousand dollars? Hell no. No, no, probably like thirty, depending on thirty, forty, thirty, fifty dollars. Yep. I heard they were worth more than that. No, they're, no, they're no. trying to finesse you. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. They're just trying to get they're trying to get as much out of you as possible because you could technically charge anything for an iguana. Yeah. Iguana man it's, on uh, YouTube. It's your price. Okay, listen. My thing is that. All right, listen. They go by the skin color of the iguana. Yeah. There's different types of one they have. Yeah. Now, if you catch an albino, you can't top dollars for that. There's no albino here. I knew that. Because there, there's just none here. It wouldn't survive out in the wild. There could be one out there. There's, 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 there's ready. ready. Uh, he is over there. We're just with him. There's no albino iguana. Yeah, there's no albino. There's there's red iguanas, there's blue There's like really orange ones. But they're not they're not they're not albino. Yeah. You think people are feeding them out here or what? No, I don't But like other places they don't like they're just so lackadaisical here, they don't even run from you here. Listen, listen, listen. Well, people, I don't know. Listen. People feed the ducks, I don't know. Check this out, man. Check this out. 
Just like that. One and done. One and done. Look at that. He is, they call him the Iguana Ninja. Yep. You got another one right here, easy catch. In the bag. Just like that, y'all. Yeah. I was just talking about how you are the professional and you're a proficient at what you do. Yeah, I take it serious. I don't, there's no play. Yeah, there's no play in this man right here. Look at his face. Stone cold, brother. Stone cold. <laughs> Good catch, bro. Yeah, you want him? You want him to eat? You want him? Probably gonna take it to a sanctuary, and uh, some they try to like they have like a plan to where they could like to like the Dominican Republic or Puerto Rico. The iguana over there, there is not that many because all the people over there, all the natives, they're eating them. To, to yeah, you gotta kill these though if you catch them. FWC made it to where if you catch them, you're not allowed to release them. So if you, it, it's actually a crime to release them in the wild. So if you catch them, you it, that's it. You got you to gotta euthanize them or you got to send them somewhere, but you can't release them back in Florida because they're non-native. We're, we're about to go get another big one. Come on, if you want. Catching iguanas. Catching iguanas. Yeah, but there's private property. What are you guys doing here? Catching iguanas. That's what we're doing. Yeah, I know, but there's private property. Okay, they got we're just, um, just catching them. We're trying to solve the problem. You know, they're an invasive species. Okay, yes sir, no problem. All right, yes sir. No problem, yes sir. What's up, dude? Yeah? You think, you think that they're racist here? Yeah, tell me, tell me how you feel about it. Okay, actually, um, there's two of them, though. Like, it's, I mean, you think it's like been recently that they started this racist listen, shit, or what? No, no, not recently. Like, they, all, only thing they care for is money. So yeah. Even with black people, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But they own kind of different. Oh, okay. He's, so he's chilling. Not really. You see? Yeah, he's saying it's proper private property, and I just said yes, sir. All right, no problem. Hey, listen, hey, listen, hey, listen. Hey, listen. If you call the police, I got this. All right, all right, for sure. You the police handler? Oh, they says. Oh, they know. Him. They already know me. We got a local with us, so. Yeah, he lives here. Yeah, yeah. He, you know, so it's not technically like private property. He's allowing us to be on here. Um, I don't know who that was, but. We're, we're trying to come out here and solve a problem. We're not causing a problem. We're coming out here to solve a problem. Giants. You know what it is? It's just that they'll, they'll personally, anybody could be an imposter. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No matter what kind of work you do. True that. They're doing some illegal shit. Could be. That's what they scared. Yeah. That's what they Another one? I wish we were going to Cali. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they go for like 20 bucks at a time. Somebody has to buy them. We're going to eat them though. Yeah, we're not doing it for the money. We're doing it to help the environment and they're delicious. It's, it's, it's like a hunt like over there, over there bro. Uh, everywhere, man. All right, man. I'm going to catch you, man. See ya.